Okay, so he solved those challenges really, really quickly and simply. I have a much bigger one for him. See this? That's our uh, gas burner and grill. We don't use it. Um, we've decided that that is it's an, it's an excess for us. So in the last few weeks as we've been trying it out and traveling, I haven't used it once. We have a two burner, um, like it's a camping one, that we use outside and we like that a lot. And in that space, when the lid's close, I've just been putting Thermi and Fry Guy, my Thermomix and my air fryer on top of it and we literally have not used it. But what we have used is our dishwasher. Yeah, you heard me. We have a dishwasher. It's one of these drawer dishwashers and Glenn has just been you know, putting it outside on the table and connecting it up to water and power and we have used it a lot. We really like our dishwasher. Uh, the dishwasher tends to use a whole lot less water and we kind of measure how much water we use when we use the dishwasher, so that helps us. Uh, and really, we just don't like washing dishes, so the dishwasher is great. So what I was wondering, challenge babe, do you think there's a way to get rid of the gas cooker thing here and put the dishwasher in there? Yes. You do? There is. Yeah, we looked at, or I looked at a couple of different places possibly where I could put it. Typically, you, your dishwasher, like in a house, is bigger and it's going to take up a whole lot of space. So the one that we have is actually a bench top dishwasher. It's meant to be just carried around. Um, or put on a bench top, but obviously we have no, we have no bench at all. Uh, so setting it in where the grill is will mean that I'm not taking up really any, or, or I'm only going to have have to use up a little bit of cupboard space that we have right now, uh, and it's not going to change our bench top situation at all. So. That's the thought, is to pull out the gas uh, cooktop and put the dishwasher there. All right, we'll come back and check and see how you're doing with that one. So, so we were talking about um, putting the dishwasher in here where the gas cooktop is. So to pull it out is actually really easy. There's just, there's just screws. Um, in the top and there's a couple in the side here just pull those screws out and inside then um, there's power which went through the side wall and there's a point, power point underneath the uh, sink so this one has a one uh, 240 volt uh, cooker whatever you call it element um, and then the other three are gas and so I've just I've disconnected the gas line uh, from the unit and then there's also a ignition starter which you know how it goes drrr, click 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 and then it starts the gas which is on 12 volts so it's just got 12 volt cables and so um, they're relatively easy to disconnect um, so after I've pulled this out That's kind of what I've left with. There was ply here, and I've I've just taken that out. The thing I'm going to have to do is cut back the bench top a little bit because the dishwasher is slightly wider than what the gas burner was. So I'm going to cut this out here. The other thing I'm going to have to do is cut down this way because again the dishwasher is uh, is higher than what the burner was. So in this cupboard we have a drawer that we put all our uh, plates and stuff in and it was higher up so I've just I've dropped it down uh, you can see the old screw holes I don't know maybe about 80 mil or so so I'll be able to drop this bench down um, and as far as the gas goes the gas here has got a on off or a shut off valve. So I've just turned that off at the moment and you're not supposed to work on gas. So I'll have to get a gas um, 
uh, install a, a licensed gas um, a contractor to to condemn that line so I don't have uh, gas here anymore. But because there's a shut off valve, I can turn it off um, there and um, and I don't have gas coming out of the lines. So while I'm working on it, the 12 volt, I'll just um, I'll just I won't get rid of it because I don't know it might be handy to have 12 volt here for something else. Um, but I'll just um, obviously make them safe so they're not going to short out. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to start cutting. Uh, so I've marked out where I want to cut the cabinets. It's pretty blue paper. Yeah. So I don't know. Just a cool little trick. This painter's tape. Uh, the blue stuff is particularly good. Is the best. Again, it's 3M brand. Um, they're one of the best brands for a variety of different uh, products like that. But the surface here is black. So if I'm trying to mark out with a pencil or a marker pen or anything like that, um, obviously it's really hard to see. So if you just put a bit of uh, tape on it, it makes it a lot easier to see your lines. Uh, the other thing it does is when you're cutting this Laminex, uh, it'll often chip. Uh, usually when you're cutting it um, on a table saw or you would cut it from underneath and the saw blade is actually coming and cutting down into it but when you're cutting it from the top like what I'm gonna have to do here my, my saw blade is coming up and it's like more likely to chip so putting the tape on it um, reduces the chance of it chipping to, to make my dishwasher work in here, I'm going to have to take this piece of ply out um, and then cut it back a little bit to make my dishwasher fit and then drop that shelf down. And I'm going to do it exactly the same way by just putting little pieces of timber uh, on and then a new piece of ply and then the new dishwasher will slide right in. So I have cut out all of the pieces that I need to cut out and this is another thing when they make caravans if you look at this fortunately this is all going to get covered but very often uh, because the way they make a caravan usually as they build the frame, they line the inside uh, and then put all the cabinetry and whatever in and then they'll often fix it from the outside of the inside skin if that makes sense. So for example this had a piece of timber across the back there and it had staples coming through the from the outside into that timber. So when you're pulling stuff uh, out if they've screwed it or stapled it from the outside, often you, you can't get it off without damaging um, the inside skin. So I'll do a test fit again. There's no base in there yet, so this isn't going to sit exactly right. But this will go in like that. Nice. And it has little feet on it that aren't sitting in the right place, so it's not quite sitting right but the, the idea is that this will sit flush with the top of the bench so um, and then I'm going to put a little cover strip uh, over the joint and so it'll basically uh, just give us a nice flat bench to work on now I need to just get my get a base in there I'm actually going to use this piece of ply that I pulled out again, I think. I'll be able to get that back in there. Ooh, recycling. Like that. It's very environmentally friendly of you. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that'll be it. Dishwasher is now in and working. And then I got this piece of it's just black acrylic, um, 
cut that in and I will silicon it down. Just a little small bead of silicon around it just so water doesn't get underneath it. Um, and I, that just covers that and I'm going to get, I've got a bit of aluminium cover strip that I'll put across the uh, front there just to finish that off. A mess. <laughs> We've already determined that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The, um, Isn't that the tray for the. It is. You put sawdust all over it. It's in a plastic container. Right. Anyway, where are we up to? 